Welcome to Stable Talk, episode four. We have the tennis team with us today. We have Isha and Luke out of Ellicott City and Brooklyn, Maryland. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? I'm chilling. I'm living. I got I got like half a grilled cheese sitting here still. <laughs> nice. I'm doing all right. I'm just, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Go, go ahead, Isha. All right, um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing fine, you know, relaxing. I was going to say something about this grilled cheese. I just finished a quesadilla, and it was really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, my house phone won't stop ringing. I really can't hear that. Your doorbell? No, my house phone. Oh. Okay, we're yeah. going to start off with some introductions. So, like, tell us majors. You play singles or doubles. How you started playing tennis, all the good stuff. Who wants to start? Luke's older. He got it. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm older, but I'm also not as smart as Isha. So not as wise. I'm, I'm a year behind. I'm, I'm, I'm a year behind her. So, uh, so I'm Luke. Um, I commute. I'm in Towson. Um, I played last season. I played number four singles and number three doubles. Uh, this year, I hope to move up to number two doubles and keep that number four single spot. Um, the shortened season kind of sucked because I like moved my way into the singles lineup last year. So it kind of was unfortunate that, and I was playing really well. Like I semifinaled in the conference tournament. Um, I was playing well in the spring. So it kind of sucked that COVID happened. Um, but yeah, my major is business communications and I'm minor in psych. Nice. So, yeah. Okay. Isha. Um, I'm a senior now and I'm a psych major with a bio minor. I want to do like neurology with that, but, um, I play singles and doubles as well. Like most of the time in college, you play both, um, high school, you can't do that college. You can, I played two doubles last year and I think four singles as well last year. Um, yeah. How did the okay. Eagles do yesterday, Luke? Oh, that was, uh, that was a... They, they lost against my team. <laughs> oh, okay, you're a football team fan. Oh, okay. The Washington <laughs> team. There you go. There you go. What a name. What a name. I'm... That's funny. <laughs> All right, our first question for you. If you had to estimate, what is the longest tennis match you've ever had? Oh, this is right in your alley, Isha. This is you. You're this Catholic. really... I am literally the one who is the last one playing at every match. Literally, I played a match yesterday. I won it in a third set tie break. My match was two hours and long. How long? Oh my God. Two hours and 10 minutes. Jeez. You yeah. How long as you've had or? Um, the longest are about the two hour range. My last, my week, oh God. My match I had last week was, it was an hour and a half. So like, I'm like the long run type person. Yeah. What uh, I'm trying to see. What's like the shortest you've ever had? Oh, that's easy. I beat a girl Owen oh, Owen oh, 20 minutes. Not in the <laughs> yeah, no, um uh, my mine was um a couple weeks ago. I beat a guy Owen oh, one six zero six one in fifteen minutes. And included okay. the warm-up. Like he, he could not compete with me. Uh but my my longest match was uh, a few weeks ago at Goucher. I took this kid eight sets. He's a three-star recruit currently, um, and he's being looked at by Goucher. Um, and we went three sets, and it was three hours. So when you guys are saying you're, like, playing matches right now, like, are these just, like, friendly, just, like, um, backyard matches? So oh. what Isha and I are doing right now is we're doing this thing. It's called a UTR Flex League. Basically uh -huh. what it is, it takes, like, your, like, like score from your matches it creates like a number for you and you're playing like other people within like a, a two utr like range so yeah. it's like a dating app but for playing tennis yeah i, I guess <laughs> yes that's what it sounds like that's actually pretty cool i like that concept yeah, yeah. I'm sure you is got that like an app for it yeah yeah so it's just, oh darn i was like i might have a million dollar idea <laughs> yeah no it's called it's called utr uh um, yeah. that's, that's okay that's, uh, tournaments are back now so i'm pretty much playing a tournament every weekend 
just trying to get back in the swing of things. Yeah. 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 After the, literally, yeah. after the spring ended, I didn't play. So. I like was working out and running every day, but like I just started playing leagues again, um, like a couple weeks ago. So back in it. That's awesome. Well, you already answered my question. What a deuce is. Should we have her re-explain it? <laughs> So deuce is basically when you're like tied in the um, game itself, you both have 40-40, which is like you've won three points each. And um, yeah, and basically you have two ways to win. It could be next point wins, or if you're playing with add, it's two points to win. So you guys can, if one person wins a point and the next person wins a point, like the opposite person wins, it goes back to deuce. And that's literally me. Like okay. I go to deuce like 10 <laughs> times in one game. Like, I remember yeah. that, your, ca your Catholic match, uh, last fall that was crazy I think in your last game you had like 20 deuces or something yeah so my, my dad and I were just sitting there counting them like it was, yeah. it was such crazy. a good match though like even though like it may not seem like fun to like sit there like the time but like mm -hmm. yeah and it's stressful for her to be out there like oh, yeah. we're doing that it's she's so fun to watch like dude <laughs> she's such a fighter she's fighting for every ball oh I love that to watch Okay, our first segment is, or sorry, sorry, second segment. Segment, We're going to play Would You Rather. A word. <laughs> Would you rather li have a live-in chef or a live-in massage therapist? I would do a massage therapist. I like cooking, so I'd rather just get massages all the time. Yeah. yeah my shoulder's screwed up, so like, <laughs> I would love to have the massage. Like, at literally every match, I'm just, like, icing my shoulder. So. Oh, nice. Yeah, so I would I would love that. That one's hard for me. I don't know how to cook, so I think I have to go with the chef. Okay, um, would you rather have spaghetti for hair or mayonnaise for sweat? <laughs> oh, I hate mayonnaise. <laughs> I, I despise mayonnaise, so I would do the spaghetti. No one's gonna see my hair regardless, yeah, there you so go. it doesn't Perfect. matter. <laughs> Perfect. Is that are we putting like red sauce on the hair? No, just straight up noodles. All right. Cause I yeah, I guess I would do that one. But if there was sauce, I might have to go to Manny's sweat. Um, yeah. What about you, Luke? Oh God. Um, I love my hair, so I'm gonna have to go for the mayonnaise. <laughs> That's. So I know it's gross, but mayonnaise is gross, but. <laughs> Okay. Would you rather have all your Google searches ever made public or all the photos in your phone made public? <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to hide in my phone, so my phone is out in the open. Go ahead. So you're, you're willing to give it all up? Yup. Take my <laughs> phone right now. Go through it. Go ahead. I mean private browser for the win so go ahead google there you go they can't find that he said incognito it's what i'm saying so i guess google i don't know i i google search some weird things not like not like bad things but just like random things that come in my head like pop up in my head i'm like i need to figure this out right now i'm like my google searches are so weird i'd rather have my camera roll be exposed yeah i think i do camera roll <laughs> people would look at my google searches and be like this girl's legit dumb <laughs> i mean that's how people look at me already so like. yeah i feel that i feel that yeah <laughs> okay would you rather have spinach in your teeth forever or have an eyelash stuck in your eye forever i hate the feeling of an eyelash <laughs> god this one's tough yeah do i get like continuous eye drops throughout the day no. Ooh. Where is the spinach? Is it very noticeable? One of the like, top four. Right here. <laughs> impossible. Um, the spinach. We're wearing masks, so the spinach. <laughs> She's always finding loopholes. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'll go with the spinach just because the mask like holds, like hides it. Yeah. For now. For now, hopefully we won't have to wear a mask much longer. I could, I could put, I could put gum, I could put gum over it. I could like have my gum like over top, like, on, like a piece of like gum. top with your bottom lip only. Yeah, I guess. Like I'm dipping, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right, so we're going to do some team superlatives. So this could be tennis player, Annie Stevenson, coach, athletic trainer, loudest on the team. Oh, oh. Okay, so for the girls' team, uh, well, she's now – she's is, – is Nina a GA now? I – she might – I think – I don't think she is. She wanted to be, but since they canceled it, I think she's just a volunteer coach. Okay. Um, I would say Nina. But, like, current player, you. Yeah, I thought you were going to say her, too. <laughs> yeah. But I would say, like, if we're, like, looking at, like, everyone, like, who I've, like – like in the past, like the right. past two, two and a half years, I would say, I would say Nina, coaching. Yeah. You just yeah. talk all the time, or? I don't know. She, her, and I are very similar when it comes to like actions on the court. Like she's just like very vocal, like whether she's like playing well or playing bad. So. Yeah, you can definitely hear them from like, even if they're playing well, and they'll be still screaming for the other team, like our other teammates. So like, you can hear them from literally court four to court one. Okay. <laughs> uh, boys team. Oh, the boys team, yeah. What about the boys uh, team? Luke, definitely. So we got both the loudest people on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you really do. Luke and uh, Doug, he was a senior two years ago. Doug, I think, also gets that award. He's also Coach Doug at this point, too, now. So <laughs> <laughs> they're back. <laughs> Now, is that – is Luke loud all the time or just when, like, hitting it out of bounds do we get some <laughs> – He's loud all the time. Like this we'll time? be running at 6 a.m. and he'll be like, let's go, Mustangs. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> You're like, please stop now. <laughs> no, but then I'll just follow up, let's go, Stang Gang. Like, it doesn't stop. <laughs> Got a model after Peter. Yes. Let's go, Pete. So this question is pretty much – Goes hand in hand, but the biggest personality on the team. Oh, I would say Ray for the guys. It's a good one. Um, Ray's just like, yeah, yeah Ray's such a nice guy, and he's always like he's positive. He's a good leader. Uh, yeah. So, Definitely. and it's great. It's great, he's using his like eligibility, like coming back, because that just yeah. helps us as a whole. It, it gives us another like leader on the team. Um, for the girls, I'm trying to think. I would say we have a whole bunch of new girls. Yeah. We have six new freshmen, so we don't even know them like that anymore. We have like five returners. Returners, I would say Megan. Megan, Megan stepped up so much, like in yeah, the past I love years, and she she went from like the bottom of the lineup to like last year she was playing number two, and then right, famous, right yeah. now she's on pace to play one. She's, yeah. such a, she's just such a leader to the girls' team and just as a whole. So, yeah. yeah they Ray and Megan. All right. What about most likely to appear on Jimmy Kimmel? Oh, my God, Ben. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Why? Would he, like, go viral or something? And ben Ben's the social media guru of the team. Oh, like, uh, okay. Yeah. He's, he's pretty funny. Yeah, he's like popular on social media. Is he popping off on TikTok? Yeah, he went viral on TikTok. Yeah. Um, for the girls team, I definitely think um, it'd be Jackie. She's just so like crazy, just like doing the weirdest things at all times. So I think it'd be Jackie for the girls team. But entertainment. Yeah, definitely the team entertainment. Okay, last superlative. Most likely to crash a wedding. Oh. Um, he's not currently on the team right now, but Isha knows him. Alex. Oh, yeah. He was, a uh, um, was he a freshman when, I mean, you were a freshman when he was a senior? Yeah, a senior, okay. yeah. Yeah, my freshman year, so two years ago. Yeah, Alex for sure. Has he, like, done stuff like that before? Like, why do you say that? He's just so funny. Like, he, <laughs> he just, like, says the funniest stuff. Um, for the girls... I think the whole girls team wanted to crash Coach's wedding. So I yeah. put the whole girls team yeah. in the loop. We were all literally going to, like, we had Roxy, uh, Coach's wife. We call her Mama R. She, like, told us about the wedding. Like, we weren't allowed to go regardless. She told us the location in the day, not, like, the exact location in the city. And we were like, we're all going to go. We're all going to go. And then Coach was, like, yelling at us. He was like, no, oh, you're not. Goodness. He didn't invite you? <laughs> no, we're not allowed to go to his wedding. That was 
that's that's some shade yeah i know right <gasps> okay we're now we're gonna do we're gonna test you on your tennis trivia we'll see how good you guys are oh i'm not gonna be good at it i feel like <laughs> i'm fresh out off, off of watching the u.s open final last night that was crazy I'm I so came home and watched mad. it. Yep. I'm so mad with the result. Oh my what God. happened? I don't. What I don't do you watch? Watch. You're mad at it? I yes. want the team to win. I, I'm the biggest Sasha Zverev fan in the world. Yeah, no, sorry. <laughs> Who won? Who won? Dominic team. team. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. First question: Who has won the most women's Wimbledon single titles? Is this Serena? I was going to say Venus. Oh, no. no. Um, Wimbledon. The most Wimbledon title. Can I Google it? Or no. no. But I'm going to – I'll give you a hint. Let me Google her and I'll give you a hint. Um, okay. she, 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 was, she is an American tennis player, but she was not born. Mm. Um, what does her name start with? Her last name. Her last name, her last name starts with a, a, an N. Oh. <laughs> in the N? Yeah. yeah. And it's like a really long last name. It's a Russian last name. It's like Napa. First name is M. Martina. Yeah, Martina Napa the Lova. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's Czechoslovakian. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You knew say, you knew you yeah. you knew who it was, but you just couldn't, you couldn't get, get the word out. You get a point. Serena Williams won her first Grand Slam title at the U.S. Open in what year? 94? Too early. 96. Too early. Oh. 99. Yeah. Yay, I, remember the she, I remember the video, yup. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we're on to, this is where it really counts, Stevenson Tennis Trivia. Oh, my the men's tennis team finished their 2018-2019 season with what overall record? Oh my God! Um, we only. So we only, wasn't this season that just got cut short? It was the year before. I know we. I know we had one loss. Um, in total. Thirteen and one. No, it's you had more than one loss. Oh, <laughs> we lost to Salisbury. Okay, we lost to Salisbury, we lost to MIT, we lost to Hartford. Yeah, that's it. That's three. it. Um, was it 22 and 3? 17 and 3 we had. Oh, okay, they didn't include the postseason. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, we cheated. <laughs> yeah, I did it all overall. No, it's all good. No, we I just knew we had those losses. How many total singles wins did the women's team have in 18-19? So, like, came to the Oh, the year. Okay, I thought you meant like eighteen hundred nine. Like no, it's like around then. We were at school. Two thousand eighteen, two thousand nineteen, and how many cumulative singles wins did the women's team have? Like, are you like, like you're including like six? Like we have six single matches in one. Okay, okay, okay. Like as a whole. Okay. We'll do a um multiple choice. Okay, thank you. <laughs> 9, 12, 14, or 17. What was the first number? 9. 12. <laughs> Wait, that's a lot. <laughs> it was 14. Oh, okay. Dang. You guys are okay at trivia. I'll, was... give you, I'll give it to you, though. <laughs> okay, this is the fun part. We're going to do rapid fire. So we have a set of questions, four questions for Luke and then four questions for Isha. And as soon as I say the question, you need to answer like immediately, no thinking, just immediately what, com like, what comes to your mind, you would need to say it. Okay. First celebrity crush. Oh, um, Addison Ray. <laughs> Weirdest quirk. Um, my my motivation, like my come on on court, I, I'm vo I'm vocalism. Okay. Biggest pet peeve? Uh, cheaters, calling anything within the six inches of the line out. One item you can't live without? Water. I item. <laughs> a little. 
Um, <laughs> Water, water's item. Kind of. My ha my hat collection. Okay. All right. He loves his hats. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Let's backtalk. You didn't have a celebrity crush until. Yeah, we said first. Addison, right? Oh, first celebrity crush? I don't know. That was the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> first, like. <laughs> I haven't had a single crush until I was 20 years old. Yeah, childhood celebrity crush. Okay, childhood celebrity crush, Ariana Grande. I feel like that's still... So, like, Victoria, like her victorious days? Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, Isha. Okay, ready? Yeah. What fashion trend do you not understand? Um... The straight legged pants. <laughs> no, I know what you're talking about. Okay. W would you rather be besties with Rihanna or Beyonce? Rihanna. What's your biggest guilty pleasure? Hot Cheetos. <laughs> What's the last song you listened to? Um, Justin Bieber Intentions. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. All right, what are these? Um, I love pants? Hot Cheetos too. Yeah, Flame Hot Cheetos. That might be my guilty pleasure as well. Flame Hot Cheetos bang, but what are straight pants? Yeah, like, straight, explain the straight pants. The straight legged pants, like, like you have no like, like mom jeans. No, 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 I love mom jeans. Like I'm talking like not boot cut. Like they literally like it like, looks like you're wearing I don't even know. They just wrap something around your leg and it's just going straight down. Skinny oh. jeans. Are they close to your legs or are they? Joggers. No, no, they're like far Joggers. apart. Joggers. Is that what you're talking about? No, like um, they, what's not the bell bottoms. But what's the material? What's the material? Jeans. 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 So jeans. What should I type into Google? Straight leg jeans. Straight. <laughs> yeah. Jeggings. Wait, am I the only one who knows about this? I, I thought like I knew what you're talking about. about. <laughs> You're not talking about like mom jeans, are you? No, I like mom jeans. Straight. I, also, I was gonna be highly like, offended. <laughs> are you talking about the the circus like yoga pants? I feel like I saw, um, like I think I know what you're talking about. I saw a pair at Target the other day. I don't know. Are they called uh, boot cut? Oh, Maybe are those in cut. style again? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Wait, wait, did you mean like in style now? Like these. Like those. Oh, so we're talking like menswear. <laughs> don't wear those. I guess I'm out of styles. Dang, I'm sorry. Show me that picture again. Show me that picture again. Okay, that same picture or a different picture? That's for men's. That's the style you're talking about. Oh, the cuffed up jeans. Cuffed? Yeah, I don't know. So this, Straight jeans so is This bothered. is the fashion trend you don't understand on men. Not sure women. Is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, then I need to go tell my dad to throw out all of his jeans. <laughs> no! <laughs> He's going to be like, why are you doing this? Yeah, some girl, Isha, she told me that they're not in style anymore, so you got to get rid of them. We got to get rid of them. <laughs> all right, you guys got to tell us your favorite Coach Evans story. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, can it be, like, any coach, or does it have to be Coach Clifton? Head any coach. coach. Any coach? Okay. Um, so this fall, I know Isha's heard this story. So this past fall at our MAC individual tournament, um, I was unseated. I was playing the number four seed in the quarterfinals to go play, um, like, the best player in the draw um, in the semifinals. And um, I won the first set 6-1. And, like, I was, I was being pretty, like, quiet. So, like, Coach AJ, um, he's now coaching in Pennsylvania. He, uh, he just left us. Um, he, co he comes to my bench, and he's just like, all right, it's a tough set, man. Like, you got to, re like, get it together. You got to just, like, stay in it. Like, get pumped up. I'm just like, I, I dropped four points the whole set. Like, I'm playing fine. And he thought you were down six one. Yeah, he thought, he thought I just got smoked because – Oh. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, you know? Um, so mine's not like on court. It's when we were going to a game, um, like we were driving up to Pennsylvania and like coach was driving. Um, we had like a senior sitting in the front. I always sit in the middle or else I sit in the front seat. And these two girls, two of our players in the back, Rebecca, she was like, um, she was there my freshman year. Um, and Nina, 
they were throwing little p balls, like paper balls at Coach. And Coach was getting so angry. He was like, you guys do it one more time. I'm stopping this van in the middle of the road. They didn't throw the ball. Someone from the back row, I forgot who it was, threw the ball at Coach. So Coach literally is in the most leftist lane, skirts to the right lane, takes the exit, some random exit, pulls up in the first parking lot he sees, and they had to do suicides. <laughs> and I literally was oh. like, I was laughing. Coach was like, if you laugh one more time, you're doing it too. I was like, I'm not laughing no more. And then I record. I have like, I have the recording on my Google, um, like drive. That's yeah. Amazing. That'll teach them a lesson. So it was like really quiet on the way back, like on the way, the rest of the way to the game. <laughs> I was on the way to the game. Yeah. That really changes the morale. Well, how yeah. the, how the match go? Um... I don't know, it was like three years ago. I think we won, though. <laughs> we might have won. Wrap up, tell people um, where, or give any shout-outs you want to give shout-outs to, or tell me where to follow, follow you on Instagram. <laughs> or TikTok. TikTok, the whole anything. Tell people what you want to tell them. Or a motivational quote. Yeah, I, find, yeah, I got to find a quote. Dang, you want to go first, E? All right. Um, I would like to give a shout out to everybody, you know, everybody out there watching the audience. Um, definitely coach. He made me the player who I am today. Uh, my parents for believing my academics <laughs> and um, the team, the team always motivating me always. Um, yeah. I would like to give a shout out to uh, to Coach Clifton. I'm at a school I'm happy at, uh, academics and athletics, great coaching, great teammates. Uh, I would also like to give a shout out to my late coach, Coach Alex Barnes. Um, we missed, and um, yeah, hopefully I can keep winning for you. The quote of the day is, today is your opportunity to build the tomorrow you want. Woo! I like that, that's good. Yeah.